everything right? Thank you, Catherine. Wayne. Am I already here? Oh. Hello? Who is that? Mark? No. We haven't met before. Is this Mark? I think we're safe. Oh. I was so worried something had gone wrong. What's your name? Robin Bass. Theta Field Service Technician. Nice to meet you, Robin. Hmm. How did you get here? I got scanned. Like the others. And then I killed myself. At least I think so. I can't remember that part. You did. How does that work? Did dying get you into the Ark? Wow, you're definitely not from Theta. Let me guess, Omicron? Wasn't sure Catherine would be able to scan you guys. You're lucky. There was a lot of talk about this at Theta. The idea is, when you're activated in the Ark, there's basically two of you, right? One human, one living scan in the Ark. You don't want your copy to survive you. You yourself want to survive on the Ark. If the human you dies before the scan is initiated, or closely after, you yourself would live on in the Ark. Amazing, right? But it would still just be the scan and therefore not the original you. Like... Whether, okay, whether or not you believe that a human being has a soul or not. I don't understand. Even, okay, let's just assume that human beings have souls, right? At least for metaphorical purposes here. With that being the case, you got your scan into the Ark. Now there's two of you, like that robot, like Robin just said. Because I'm going to start personifying these robots since this whole game is built around robots. So, in that case though, you kill yourself, and the idea is that you are now the scan. Gotcha. Although, when you kill yourself, your body stays where it is, or no, gets buried, becomes a skeleton, then becomes dust, the whole deal. But even then, let's assume souls exist, your soul wouldn't magically go into the scan, into the arc, to make it the real you. Your scan, I don't want to get religious here, but your, your scan, I mean, I mean your, your soul would still, I don't know, remain on earth, or go to heaven, or hell, or remain in purgatory, or whatever. I suppose this metaphor would even work without, without using a soul as a reference, but I figure that using a soul as a reference would probably be the easiest way to do this. Like, it still wouldn't be you, so you, so the real you still isn't the one surviving. Because the scan is a facsimile. A facsimile surviving is not a real thing surviving. Like, say government documents, for instance. There are some, there are some government departments where if you have certain files, like, Typically, you'll have you. You might have. They might be. Let's say four or five um, pages, original pages of a document. A lot of government agencies will sit there and say, "Hey, we want one of those OG copies." Not even, it's like like if you were to take one of those original copy originals, put it into a printer and have it printed out. Sometimes people don't like that because they're not the original. Same, prin same principle, if you get what I'm saying, I don't, I don't know if I'm explaining it correctly. Same principle here though. The scan is still just a facsimile, it's still not the real you. So I understand the, what the point of what Robin is saying here, but the end game still doesn't match up. Because the, the, the scan still isn't you, it's still just your facsimile. So this whole notion of saving mankind through the arc, you're only saving mankind subconscious not mankind itself. And if it's just robots, then that actually eliminates the whole survival of the fittest thing part of it too. Because if it's just robots, robots I assume as long as they have the biomechanics and all that, can survive perpetually. So you just have this, you'd have one generation, or I guess you wouldn't have any new generations because it would just be the same people as robots in a consciousness. But that's not humanity, that's not a living being. 
you're still starting over anew, you just have the same personalities, but in a new world. Like, I, I, I get what Robin's trying to say here, but the end game just doesn't match up to me. I know that was a long philosophical spew, but... Did Catherine put you up to this? Killing yourself? Catherine Chun? No. I don't think you understand. She just did scans and put them into the Ark. I hope I get to meet her soon so I can apologize. She always got into trouble with Strawmeyer when someone killed themselves. I think she's okay with it. Where is everyone? I thought there would be like 40 or 50 people here. I don't know. Uh, I'll let you know if I see anyone. I'm just gonna leave that robot be because that, that robot... Okay, so here's what I want to know. I, I think I know the, the I think I know the story reason now behind those blue assholes where if you look at them you die. By the way, I don't think I showed this footage. So what happens if you if you look at them for long enough, they'll like teleport to you and then just go to you and kill you. That's what happens. So those guys, my assumption, are guys that killed themselves and then when they came back to life as a robot, their mind didn't cope. Because Simon's mind coped. Their mind didn't cope, and so they simply went insane and are what they are now. That's what I think the insanity part of this is. I, I think there are three types of robots. I, I think all of humanity is dead in this world now. And there are three types of people. Technically four if you consider the ones in the Ark, but that's just consciousness, so I'm not counting it. That's just subconscious, I'm not counting it for that reason. As far as robots go, I think there are three types. Completely sane and coherent. Simon and Catherine fall into this. And so does Robin over there. Robin doesn't know what's going on, but she's still coherent. Then there's a second type, which is like the one that I kill with a stun baton, where they're not really coherent, but they're still, they're still light bulbs in there, if you get what I'm saying, right? Like, they're still them. It's almost like if you, if you took a regular person and like bashed them over the head with a baseball bat. Not that I would ever want to do that, but like a person with brain damage, right? So they're not all there. They're still there, but they're not all still there. That's the second type. Third type is the blue assholes where they just lost all their sanity and now they're just going around not knowing what the hell's going on. Did I already look at this one? Strasky, wake up Dr. Masters. We're bringing in acres. What's wrong? What can I say? He's had a rough day. Jesus Christ. He's all butchered by structure shrapnel. Yeah. The lab sure did a number on him. Brandon, flip the panic switch on the seat. I don't want to burn through the oxygen. You're kidding, right? He's fucking hanging on by a thread. We need to move him. Sarah, uh, are you there? Who is this? Catherine? I'm busy working. Oh, I just wanted to say thank you for what you did. Don't worry about it, but you should stand up for yourself. I mean, Strummeyer doesn't have that kind of authority. You should just tell him to go fuck himself. Oh, I just don't. I'm not that kind of a person. You can't expect people to fight for you all the time. You're a brilliant person, Kath. You're so smart it makes my head spin, but sometimes you just disappear into yourself. Suddenly it's like talking to a fucking five-year-old. It's just hard. I can't just be more like that. Everyone would know I'm pretending. It's not too late to win people over. Strasky likes you. I like you. Reed likes you. Strasky likes everybody. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Wait, you think Reed likes me? Catherine... A lot of people like you. You just need to open up a little. Be more approachable. Can I get back to work now? I'd rather not be reprimanded twice in one day. Okay. See you back inside. Over and out.
Interesting, that's all there was to that. Game, why give me a flashlight if it barely doesn't? Uh. I was talking well, Catherine, about we found data. robot types earlier. The one part that still doesn't make any sense to me. Is those red the robots with the red vision that want to kill you. Unless they just become naturally angry as a result of being put into a robot. What? All right. Damn it. I need you again. ourselves a submarine there will be nothing stopping us when we have the dumb bat you guys sure have a lot of machines and vehicles down here what makes this one so special <clears throat> it's the only transport that can go into the abyss without cracking like a can of soup if this is one of a kind then how did they get the ark down the abyss in the first place that's a good question i suppose they did it the hard way and just walked didn't realize that was an option Kath. What's it like inside the Ark? Is it like a movie or virtual reality? No, of course not. It's, you know, like real life, but slightly better. Pleasant huh. temperature, clean air, good weather. So people in the Ark just walk around pretending it's the real world? You don't have to pretend. It's perfectly immersive. But you know it what he means. just sustain itself. Yes. Attached to a probe fueled by solar panels, it can survive for thousands of years. That's amazing. Just... Thinking about the Earth being what it is, and us setting out to save the final remains of humanity, it's... It's... Heroic? Uh, at least it feels worth doing. Here we go. The Dunbat! Ah, oh, damn it. I knew it was too good to be true. What's wrong? It's fucked, it's, isn't it? it? It's quarantined. Hold on. We need a security cipher. How bad is it? It's we don't write these things down type of bad. 
Maybe someone's still around who can tell us what it is. Hmm, sure. Let's go with that. I'll just unlock the other doors for you so you can explore the station. Why, thank you very much, madam. We need to find someone who knows the cipher. It's the only way to fire up the Dunbat. So you're staying here. Gotcha. Then again, I suppose I don't really need you, considering the fact that you already opened up everything for me. Well, I'm still going through that door last. Alright. Oh god, that's ominous as hell. You know what? That's ominous as hell. What happened to all the people? This place what the hell? Deserted. Jesus Christ. So far. It doesn't make any sense. Theta is clearly the best option for survival. Well, perhaps they didn't make it that far. This somehow looks somewhat less creepy, maybe? At least I can see shit way down there. Oh god. Probably Lambda or Omicron? Well, we've seen Lambda already. So maybe Omicron. Sounds legit. Yeah, I'm definitely going through this one though. Because <clears throat> that one is just the hallway with the corner. With the turret. Because this one I can actually see shit. That one I feel like I turn the corner and next thing you know I'm about to get... I'm about to run into the boogeyman or one of those blue assholes and get my soul harvested. Anymore. Maybe they all helped out with the ark. To carry it to town? Well, it seems excessive, but not out of the question. Well, aren't you like part of the whole system for this whole place Thanks, now? Drama. Could you, uh... Thanks, helpful report. Be quiet, the proxy listens. What happened to Theta? No explanations anywhere. Kind of sounds like a warning. Well, because it is, but like, Catherine, can't you see what's going on? There's a camera right there. Like, can't you just look around the whole place and see if there are any survivors? And save me this whole trip in case there's nobody around? Or are those cameras offline and you can't bring them back online? Oh no, wait a minute. Oh, okay, okay. Just making sure I can get back up there. Oh, God, that might come back to bite me in the ass. Because if I get chased by something, it's going to take me time to, uh... Oh, God. What the fuck? Yeah, fuck you behind that door. Oh god. Dead end? Okay. Okay, you know what man? Fuck this. I'm going back up there. Soul harvested or not, I feel safer up there than down here. <clears throat> Alright, blue asshole. Are any of you assholes gonna be over here? to drain my soul. Oh, there is no turn here. It just looks like it because of that. Oh, it's a straight hallway. So I, in fact, can see everything. Okay. Hmm. Oh, shit.
Okay, so there's absolutely nothing in here. I'm going straight forward next. With this flashlight that works about as well, actually not even as good as the one on my phone would. Here I was thinking it was going to be safe in there. I was even about to comment that I felt safe in there. But not now. Oh, shit. What the fuck is this place anyway? Stop doing that, please, for the love of fuck. Please. Please. Stop. Bathroom. Got it. Other bathroom bought it. Shit. Ah, fuck that. I'm going to the other room on the other side. Eventually, I'm gonna have to go into one of these fucking places if I'm really trying to hold off on it. Data laboratory. I don't need anything sneaking up on me. Welcome to my place. Jesus Christ. When I started the art project, I pretty much lived in this lab. Cozy. Oh, fuck. Catherine. Jesus, fuck. Fix this. <sighs> Damn it. Fuck you, man. This is where I did my scan. And all the others, I suppose. You don't remember? My scan was the first. Had to test the scanner before I could start making promises. And Simon here also got a scan, which means that... Wait, all this shit started... 
in 2103, right? We don't do scans. Because Simon's brain scan was done in 2015. So you only play as the real Simon at the very beginning of the game. Which means that Simon, in fact, did not wake up randomly in this little facility. He continued on with his daily life with what was his name, Jesse and whatnot. They made their lunch and all that from the subway. Je uh, Simon continued on with his normal life. This is many years later. Uh, Skrusky, come in. I need help in the lab, the scan room. What happened? Conrad killed himself after the scan. Jesus, how? Um, laser tool? What should I do? I'm gonna need to tell Strohmeyer. No, please! I'm so close. Strohmeyer's gonna shut down the art project. It's not my fault people keep killing themselves. Catherine, what are you gonna do? It's not like you can sneak a 300-pound body out of the lab. I know. Catherine, are you okay? Not even close. Tell you what, there are some differences between the scans and the real people. Because, no, I don't know if this is a part of the lore or if it's just a mistake on the writer's part. But, Catherine Real, OG Catherine, I gotta go downstairs, OG Catherine is very much a passive person, sounds like. And yet, Scan Catherine speaks with conviction and knows what she's doing. I mean, the, the other one does know what she's doing either, too, but like, she's confident, basically. So either that's a difference between the scan and the real person, or that's just a fault on the writer's part. Either way, I find it interesting. To the sublevel. I'm nervous. Well, let's do this. There's a reset router down here that I need. What the fuck? Jesus fucking Christ. There's a robot in here. Or there's not. Can I do anything with any of this? No, I can't. Unless... No. Oh, fuck. Well... Fuck. What the fuck is that? Oh! 
Oh my god! Oh, oh. Get the fuck up there! Can they come up here with me? No. Can it? Ha! Huh. That's right, asshole. Yeah, you're stuck down there. <sighs> yeah, that's right. Uh. Fuck you. Actually, fuck me, because it means I, ah, uh, I still have to go down there. What the fuck is that anyway? <laughs> fuck you, buddy.
Good job, Zarya. This better have worked. I'm not going down there again. <sighs> There's more of them down there. was a stressful experience, to say the least. <clears throat> but now I can access this shit. <sighs> Catherine, Jasper, Ian, Mark. How exactly does that help me? right now. Didn't I already do that? That's you. Kath, what is this? Why do you have a file of me? You are one of Dr. Munchie's templates. A legacy scan. Oh, shit. Wait, wait, wait. So he didn't live on with his normal life after that scan. That scan killed him. Fuck. Damn, that sucks. Oh, wait, 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 no, like, captured May 2nd. Dude, no, no, no. Dude, fucking Simon died, like, a month after that fucking scan. Fuck. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, that's it. Wow, that was fun. That's a relief. I'm still figuring this out, so. It's freaky. So many lights. What do we do now? Paul and I are gonna run tests for a week or so, and then we'll work out a roadmap to your recovery. Well, I feel excited. Can't wait to get back to the living. So that's what actually happened. Interesting. We've worked everything out. Everything is legal. Vouched for by Dr. Peak and Professor Wei. Oh, that's great news. No big change in medication. You'll be taking an aspirin every morning, but that's about it. Paul worked out a diet with some variations you should try out. You can continue doing physical therapy. Also, there's some extra cardio training every other day. Okay, getting complicated. Don't worry, it's really not. We're gonna keep an eye on you every week, so we'll be able to adjust the plan if needed. The model was sound. 
It should have worked. It's not your fault, David. I really wish things had turned out differently. Yeah, me too. I was supposed to save you. Hey, you got my brain on file. Maybe you can put it to some use. <laughs> yeah, who knows? You'd be okay with that? Using it for my research? Sure. It's like a part of me lives on or something. Like a donated organ. You know what sucks about dying? What? The crash. Everything up till now. The brain damage. You guys, everything. It's made my life so much more real. I started thinking about all the things I was going to do. I'd never been more excited to be alive. All that hope. Wasted. Well, it makes it feel any better, and just, uh, and not too many years after you die, the Earth turns into a complete shit show, so. Fuck, though, man. Do these do this other guys have any audio recordings or anything? Is it? Nope, okay, just him. What's a legacy scan? They're historic templates for AI construction. Any self respecting engineer wouldn't use legacies anymore, but they're great for learning. They come with every development kit. So. My brain scan turned into a template for artificial intelligence. You should be proud. So much for that mystery. No magic or time travel needed. I was here all along. Waiting for someone to shove a picture of my brain into a suit and hit the power button. Huh. 